Google just dropped a new coding agent. Now, Jules is an asynchronous coding agent. So, asynchronous means that Jules can perform multiple tasks parallelly but still not interfering with individual generated code as it will be using cloud based virtual environments to run the code and GitHub to do PRs and separate branching. So, here's an overview of what you're going to get using Jules. So, you're going to start working on real code bases as it's going to communicate with your GitHub account and it's going to have full context. It can do parallel execution because it it runs in the cloud VM and it has asynchronous functionality. It's going to give you visible workflow and GitHub integration as well as user steerability, which means that you can modify the presented plan before or during and even after the execution to maintain control over your code. And you're going to have audio summaries. And in this video today, we're going to be using Jules and I'm going to be talking about the interface and all the features that Jules come packing with and also stick till the end of the video because I will be sharing key insights or my personal experience with Jules and the implications that it holds. So with that said, let's get started with the video. Hi and welcome back to Skill Cup. This is Ho Shamriz and we're here at Jules.google.com. And if I zoom in a bit, so this is the interface that Jules is going to provide you. You're going to have your recent tasks here, your code bases, as well as they're going to have a daily rate limiting of five tasks per day because this is just a beta version and it's completely free. I think this is justifiable. And as you can see on the top banner right here, Jules is experiencing high load. So tasks may experience increased latency. But that aside, we have have an async development agent and it's going to power boost your coding game to a new level so let's go and connect our github it's pretty simple you just have to click on connect to github so once you connect your github account you will see something like this so these are all the github repos that i have in my github account as you can see right over here and also the branches but for this video we're going to be creating the repository from scratch so here on github i'm just going to click on new i'm just going to go ahead and say this is a testing repo and i'm going to go ahead and say this is jules testing and i'm going to leave it as public add a readme.md file and create repo and as soon as you create your repo here you will see that your repo will show up right here so this is the testing repo that i just created um the main branch so i'm just gonna go ahead and ask it to generate a to-do list app and add some functionalities to it so let's go ahead with the prompt so the prompt goes like create a to-do list app with sleek modern design and add a calendar and date functionalities with each to-do make it look cool and interactive and i'm just gonna go ahead and click on give me a plan and it's gonna generate a plan for you so as soon as i do that you can see that one of my daily task credit is being consumed here and it's going to start booting up the vm or the virtual environment in the cloud to test out our code so it's asking me if i want to enable notifications okay why not let's just go ahead and enable that now it's cloning my testing repository on the cloud that i just boot up and it's going to go ahead with creating the code first it's going to give me a plan and then if I approve the plan, it's going to generate that code for me. So there you go. The plan is ready. And if you do not approve the plan within 30 seconds, it's going to auto approve the plan for you. And as soon as you approve the plan, it's going to start generating the to do's and the code for you. In the meantime, we can talk about the repo view. So if you go ahead and click on the repository on the top, you can go to the repo view here where you can see the tasks that are running as well as the tasks that will be completed. Also, some configurations here. So you can have initial setup to actually run and validate tests. If you have unit tests in your GitHub repo, it's going to go ahead and conduct those tests and validate whether your code is working or not. Or you can change this to run automated tests as well. But in the overview, the really, really cool feature is this code cost. And we'll be talking about this later on in this video. So stick to the end of the video. And we're going to be talking about why this code cost feature is really, really important. So let's go back to our code that is being generated here. So there you go it started generating the code for you it added the index.html file the script.js file as well as the style.css file and if you expand this you can see the browser view as well as the diff view so here you can see what the file used to look like before and what it looks like now so the green part is the addition that it did and it was a blank file because we did it from scratch and that's why you can't see anything here let's close this again and we can see all the stuff that is performing so it created the files it implemented the core to-do list functionality like task creation display completion deletion and local storage persistency and now it's working on the styling i presume so let's wait for it to complete everything you can click on this pause button to actually 
pause degeneration and interact with jewels because that way it gives you more flexibility or control over your project or whatever you're generating using jewel and to show you guys it's asynchronous working i'm gonna add a new task here and this time i'm gonna ask it to add a theme toggler and the prompt goes like add a theme toggle to change the theme of the project from dark to light and it's gonna start working on this while it's actually working on this as well so this will not affect any of the code because Everything is being done in the VM and it's going to generate different branches or push requests for each of these generations. That's why it is so powerful and mind blowing. So this way your whole software development team can work on one GitHub repo, but in different branches and generate code for different features. And once everything is completed, it's going to give you a summary of what was done and also the name of the branch that you're going to commit this to. So we're going to have initial to do app v1. And it's around 708 lines of code. And I can just go ahead and click on publish branch. That's how easy it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and say publish branch. And it's going to go ahead and publish that right here. So if I reload this and I can go ahead and compare and pull this. So I'm just going to go ahead, compare this and, and just go ahead and pull this. So let's go ahead and merge the pull request and confirm merge. So this way I will have the code on my main branch. So this is how easy you can manage your code bases. And you can see the Jules board here actually did the initial commit. So I have merged this to my main branch right here, which is really cool. And I can go ahead and actually clone this. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up my CMD and type git clone and then just paste in the url that i copied from my github repo hit enter and there you go it's cloned for me now i can open this up inside my id and there you go this is my id let me zoom in a bit and i'm gonna run npx serve here this way i can spin up a local server to actually check out the result so there you go our local server is running i'm just gonna go ahead to this url right here so let's say the first task is going to be exercise and i'm gonna choose a date so it's gonna be tomorrow and that's it i can add the task it's right here with the date that's the due date and I can go ahead and delete this. Okay, let's go ahead and add a new task here. So content research. And I usually do this on weekends. So I'm just going to go ahead and say on 24th, I can just check that and it will mark that as completed. I can delete that as well. Pretty cool. I like the animations as well. Let me zoom in a bit so you can view it clearly. And I can go ahead and pick any of the dates from here. And the task for this date will show up. So if I click on 24th of May, this content research task should show up. So there you go. We have the content research task right here. So this means that all the functionality of this application is working pretty good. Although the design is really simple, but the functionality is really mind blowing. And all of this was done using Jules. So let's go ahead and check out the second request that we sent out to Jules. So Jules is experiencing heavy traffic, task is queued and will start shortly. So we might have to wait for a while for Jules to work because there is too much traffic for Jules as it was released just yesterday. So let's give them a breather and wait for a while to get this done. Now let's go back to Codecast. So if you go to your repo view and you go to Codecast here, you can see that it's a feature that will be coming soon and they're gonna bring more capacity online to get more people because there is too much traffic. So they have to scale their system. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be talking about what actually Codecast does. So Codecast is just like Notebook LMs podcast where you can create actual podcast like audios for the task or whatever you did with your code base for the day that is really powerful which means that you can share these recordings to your team lead or your manager and they can go ahead and listen to these recordings and they will know a summary of whatever you have done in the day on the company's project, which is going to redefine collaborating and co-working spaces. That's one fascinating thing that we're getting with Jules that OpenAI's Codex does not have. And to be quite honest, the news about Jules came out when they released Flash 2.0 and OpenAI just recently launched their Codex. But Codex is on a plan of $200 per month and here i can use jewels for completely free and i would highly suggest you guys to go ahead and give it a shot with that said i want to wrap this video up if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on a daily update thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video till then stay curious and keep exploring